We'd also like to take a few moments to cover Debian package management, which is really not a far cry from RPM or Red Hat package management. The real difference here is our files will have a different extension, a .deb. Now for standardized installations, instead of using RPM here, we're going to use dpkg, or Debian package, to install those files. We also have a Debian package database, which is going to be under var lib dpkg, and it works exactly like our RPM database did for us. Now instead of having the standardized database like an RPM, we actually have three different files there. We have a status, available, and diversions. And these are pretty self-explanatory. Our status is going to let us know where our current software stands, any available installations that can be performed, followed by any issue-based installations. Now there's actually a newer command aside from the regular Debian package management installation program. You can actually use your apt-get command, which will give you a lot more options to perform installations and queries. And finally, our alien command. Now what's really nice about this is prior to the alien command, we had to actually get either source or Debian packages. Well now we can actually deviate from that and use the alien command to convert RPMs or other non-Debian package into a Debian package. So that actually allows us some flexibility so we're not reliant so much on standardized Debian software.